Stay informed with the WKYT News app, a must-have, with push alerts for breaking news and weather. Plus, watch WKYT News live wherever you are. Download the WKYT News app today. Kentucky Newsmakers, Sundays at 1130 on WKYT. Welcome to CBS Mornings on this Friday. You made it. I'm Gail King. I'm Tony DeCopel. And I'm Nate Burleson. We're all here. Let's go to today's eye opener. It's your world in 90 seconds. The attorney general asked to unseal the Trump search warrant. Some documents could reportedly be related to nuclear weapons. Upholding the rule of law means applying the law evenly without fear or favor. Police kill an apparent Trump supporter who tried to get inside an FBI field office with a gun. There are no officers that were injured as a result of the uh, circumstances. The CDC is now doing away with many of the recommendations that were put in place for the pandemic. If you are exposed to somebody with COVID, you no longer have to quarantine. Big savings for air travelers. Prices for plane tickets fell nearly 8% last month. If you're looking for a deal on airfare, now is the sweet spot. It has been a brutal summer, raging wildfires fueled by one of Europe's worst droughts in centuries. Major League Baseball has returned to Dyersville, Iowa for the second Field of Dreams game, paying tribute to the 1989 film. According to Rolling Stone, Trump is worried that he may have a rat or multiple rats in his midst. I cannot believe someone would betray Trump's trust like this. Without getting a book deal first, you're leaving money on the table, people. The PACT Act has been signed into law to help veterans who were exposed to burn pits. During the signing event, the president praised comedian John Stewart, who has been a staunch advocate for veterans. And as John's friend, I know how uncomfortable he is getting praised. But also as John's friend, I truly enjoy how uncomfortable he is getting praised. <laughs> now, if John were here, he'd say that this isn't about him. This is about the real heroes, the men and women who serve their country, and he is absolutely right. But also, he's not here, so congratulations, John. <laughs> this morning's eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. You are so right, Stephen yeah. Goldberg. Congratulations, John. Right. You brought so much attention to this issue that people who weren't paying attention started paying attention yeah. to. I remember when he came on the show, I said, John, how are you doing? He said, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, but I see the finish line. Yeah. yeah. It's a big yeah. win for him, and he was sure. leading that fight. That's he does right. give some credit there. Yeah. Uh, well done there by Stephen yeah. Colbert. Uh, we got a big show for you, a lot to get to, a lot of news. Uh, and we're going to take you to Nevada's Lake Mead, which is drying up under a record drought there. They're dropping water levels, and those dropping water levels are revealing some, at times, disturbing secrets that have been hidden beneath the surface possibly for decades hmm. we're gonna hear from a son who might find closure through this drought and climate change hmm, looking forward to that plus what movie is the best sports movie or as we like to say sports ball movie our guest abby jacobson probably thinks it's the beloved baseball film a league of their own it's hard to argue that she executive produces stars in and writes the tv reboot of the 1992 classic film the broad city comedian will be here in studio to tell us all about it is that what we like to say, sports ball? Sports ball sports move. Ball. Yeah. That means all of the sports moves. Okay, pickleball included. Yeah, exactly. Pickleball included. <laughs> Absolutely right. But of course, we've got to begin with the breaking news. It happened overnight on the unprecedented, there's that word again, FBI search of Donald Trump's Florida home. The former president says he will not oppose the Justice Department's request to reveal its search warrant. Agents searched Mar-a-Lago on Monday. They were looking for classified documents, including, now this is according to the Washington Post, that some of them involve nuclear weapons. Attorney General Merrick Garland asked a judge yesterday to release that warrant. Now that is a highly, highly unusual move when no charges have been filed. As Jeff Pegues reports, he said the public deserves to know what's going on in this case. I personally approve the decision to seek a search warrant in this matter.